Hey guys, so today I'm working on a cross cut sled for my DeWalt job site table saw. So I've got these miter bars. It'll slide in here. I've got the half inch birch plywood. That'll be the main part of the sled. And then I've got the three quarter inch birch plywood. It'll be the front and back fence. This is not the really good stuff. It's not the 11 ply Baltic birch, but it's good enough for what I'm doing. Uh, I got this Craig Precision Track Stop System. Got some T track and some hold downs. And I've got a little bit of a design, but mainly I'm copying uh, James from King's Fine Woodworking. Uh, he's he does a great job and if you're actually going to build this you should go watch that video I'll post a link below so I'm just going to kind of cobble my way through it so let's get started okay to start off I'm going to cut this half inch birch plywood that'll be the main part of the sled you see I've got it up on four saw horses so it won't fall off when I cut it using the straight edge and the skill saw I'm going to make it 30 inches wide you know, this will be a little over 30 inches. So I use this skill spacer and that tells me where to set my guide because that's the offset of the blade. All right, so let's make that cut. Okay, so next I've got my miter bars and they have these adjusters in here so you can get it really tight in the track. So what I do is I crank this out so that it hits won't go in and I just back it off just a little bit at a time until it just barely goes in there okay so once I get them all adjusted they slide in here easy but they're nice and tight with no slot so next I'm going to glue those to the sled bottom all right so first I'm going to adjust this fence so I get it right where I want it here. Then I'm going to put some washers in here. And that's just to raise these guides up so that when I lay this board on top of here, they'll glue up. I'm going to put the glue on the rails. Let that sit for a minute or two. Alright, let's see what we got. Okay, so we're all glued on. Okay, so next I gotta permanently attach this because we don't want to rely just on the glue. So we're gonna put some screws in here. Um, now, we'll put some short screws in there for now, but later this will get doubled up, it'll be an inch thick, and then we can put some longer screws in there. Need a little adjusting, but basically we're set. So next, let's make the front and back rails. Okay, so now I'm going to cut this three-quarter inch birch plywood, and this will make the front and back rails. Next, I'm going to rip down four pieces that are four inches wide. This last one, I'm going to rip down to three and a quarter, so I'm going to knock three quarters of an inch off, and that's so that this will be able to sit on there glue them together. Okay, so next I'm just going to glue these up. Okay, so I let this uh, dry up overnight and now I'm just going to scrape the glue off. 
Okay, so next I'm going to clean up the bottom edge on the joiner. Okay, then I'm going to cut them to length. Okay, so I've got this front fence on, that's all attached, and I just used this big square to square it up. I didn't use that five cut method, but I might do that later. But it seems pretty good for now. So now, I'm going to put the back fence on. So let's get that lined up. And this one doesn't have to be straight, but I'm just trying to find the middle for now. Mark that, and then I'm going to figure out some kind of a shape. Right, so I've got this thing marked up a little bit, nothing fancy. I'm going to just cut it out on the bandsaw. this to my sled. And this one doesn't have to be perfect, but we'll line it up anyway. Now I gotta cut the second layer. So next, I'm going to glue in the second piece of half-inch birch, it's like the second layer. All right, the whole purpose of this is so you can have the removable inserts. So the bottom layer is what the insert sits on. Alright, so we're going to put this in right here, but I'm only going to glue it over to where the blade is, which is about here, so that when I cut it off tomorrow, this piece will come off and it won't be glued down. So it's the next day, and let's see what we got in here. Okay, so I've got this board in here. So next, I'm going to attach this top fence. So i got to drill some holes. Okay, so we'll finish this up later. Only thing okay, so next I'm going to cut the slot all the way through the sled. Okay, since I didn't glue the board down all the way across, now I can just take this out. Alright guys, so I flipped the sled over, and we just have this little slot from the uh, blade, but I want to open this up for the widest blade that I'm ever going to use, which will be a dado blade. So I'm going to cut this to 7 8 of an inch. There we go. Alright guys, so I'm making some progress. Got my front and back fences on, got the Craig track in place. I've glued on the second layer of the half inch birch on this side, got the slot cut to width. So now I gotta cut this piece. It'll, I've measured over three inches for the insert. So I'll cut a bunch of inserts. Uh, some I'll use for um, zero clearance blades and some for dados. 
and then this piece will get glued down over here. So let's do that. So I've got all my inserts cut and I've got this piece ready to go. This is going to go in here like this and I'm leaving one insert in here so I know like I'll leave just a small gap there so this will come in and out easily. Alright, so let's glue this up. Okay, so just going to drop this right in. Like so. It's been a day. Good. There's our insert. A little snug. Okay, so next I'm going to take the front and back fences off so I can cut a dado on here. Now, I did get some glue in there, so this might not come off easy. We'll see. No, oh, not bad. Just stacking up my dado blade here to get it to the thickness of the rail that I'm trying to put in there. So that's pretty close. That might be too tight. We'll try it. Oh, put the writing to the outside. Blade space in the right way. So now I'm just using a self-centering bit to uh, locate these holes. Okay, so now I want to install this insert, so I'll be able to remove this and put different ones in here for different size blades. So I'm going to put it in with these four screws. So basically let's uh, drill this out and then we'll show you what to do next. I'm going to flip it over and uh, put these in. Okay, so I'm going to use this Forstner bit to try and get a cleaner hole for this countersink to put that in. So I need to get this down below the surface so that it can slide on the tabletop. We got all those in there. So let's put this in here. So, wow. <clears throat> Alright, guys, so now I'm ready to make that cut through our new insert. So we're going to cut all the way through.
All right, guys, so that, that wax makes a huge difference. This thing just glides on here now. Like that. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is replace this insert with a new insert and then cut a dado into it. So that'll be our dado insert. Check this out. All right, check this out. Look at that. Pretty cool, huh? All right, guys, I got it all done. This thing was a lot of work. It turned out pretty good. It's definitely not perfect, but it's probably good enough for what I'm doing. I'm not a master woodworker, for sure, in case you haven't figured that out. Um, but uh, let's see, a few things that I might not have mentioned is, one is this, these didn't line up perfectly. I had to over drill that, so that was a little messed up, but it, it works. Um, this bar across the top, I bought the 24 inch set and then spliced it together. I don't recommend you do that because it's not perfect here. It's just, it works, but it's a pain to slide over that. It's better, and it doesn't look good. So just get one piece. I didn't show making this as the, to protect your hands back here. You don't want to have your hands anywhere near here because this can actually come through if you push it far enough. Uh, it is stepped down, that's so that the handle can turn here. Um, I don't think I showed this either, but I had to tap this out and add that guy. Now all of this is shown in detail by James over at uh, King's Fine Woodworking. So he's a master woodworker and he's really great at explaining things and he's got a full set of plans. So if you're actually going to build this, head on over to King's Fine Woodworking and get the plans and uh, it'll probably turn out better than this <laughs> but, but this will work for me and I'm, I'm glad I got it now I can move on to some tougher projects so thanks for watching I'll see you on the next one